Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for January 15th through the 21st. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from Whispers of Love Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Please remember time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. Now, for those of you that did not um, get to see the uh, All Signs read or you just haven't watched it just yet, I uh, want to let you know of the channel updates. This is going to be the last time I'm doing your weekly reading in this style. I'm going to be switching it up and we're going to be looking in depth at more of your week ahead of you instead of just one particular situation. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't you know, do readings on, you know, um, the connection between you and your person. It's just, that won't be your weekly anymore. <clears throat> I'll figure it out on when I'll, I'll do them. So, um, other than that, and with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's take a look at, um, how you feel about the person on your mind. So please show me how does Sagittarius feel about the person on their mind? You're taking this road alone and you are moving on, feeling good, feeling confident about it. And this person had caused pain or hurt and you don't want to feel that anymore. You are, um, you know, just adding them to those wands to protect yourself, keep yourself um, ahead of those who want to cause you any kind of um, pain in any way. So we have the hermit, we have the six of swords, and then we have the queen of wands that comes out here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how this person feels about you. Okay, uh, six of wands, seven of wands, and the devil um, at the bottom of the deck is going to be the seven of pentacles. So this person definitely wants your attention and they're feeling like you're guarded, which is making them feel like something is off and they're just kind of waiting. It's making them also go into this overly worry uh mode or fear of having to wait um clinging to you more so that tells me that maybe you didn't let them know sagittarius that you were going to move on without them um so that six of wands seven of wands and the devil um you know wanting your attention i'm gonna go after it wanting you like even wanting you um physically like i've waited long enough i really want sagittarius but you're not there not going to be there let's go ahead and um get the connection between the two of you so the four of pentacles in reverse the tower and the justice card and the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck there's definitely a lack of investment or what has been invested didn't turn out it wasn't um something that was you know grew into something amazing it looks like it was very chaotic and truth be told you just want to you know be on your own and i feel like this nine of cups is just you finding that you know emotional fulfillment satisfaction feeling really good about yourself on your own and maybe you are getting love from other people all around you like oh you look so good and this and, that. and you're like thanks but it doesn't mean that you're engaging with all of that right now and if you are it seems to be your choice to make um but yeah you are not allowing that door to be open um to destruction um you want balance here so let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with the hermit. Okay. 
Now, the Hermit is clarified by the Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Three of Wands, as well as the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck right here. Okay, so you would rather just be left alone, like you're just going to leave the situation and go alone because um, you're really feeling that this person was just creating a bunch of BS with you. They only wanted one thing and you're not wanting that. You want to move towards something more than, you know, just the beginning of one passionate whatever. Um, it just felt like maybe you didn't have a lot in common with this person or you felt it was just more about physical things and that's not what you wanted. So, you know, I feel like you're also telling this person, um, Oh, okay. Wanting to tell this person. It's like being drawn to want to tell this person that you're done and turning your back on them. But here's the thing like that four of swords comes out as I can't find the words to tell them or, you know, just breaking that communication and just leaving the situation. So let's go ahead and clarify that six of swords. Some of you are actually moving away to a new place here and you're very excited about it. It's something that brings a lot of balance for you, structure, stability, um, and it's exciting. It's a, it's a move forward, even like a move up in, in work or um, something to do with that. So we have the Four of Wands, Temperance, and the King of Swords that comes out as clarification for that Six of Swords as well as the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. And it just looks really, really good. I like that. It's kind of like moving forward is a celebration for you too. I see you celebrating with maybe friends that things are working out or balancing out and you're doing what you need to and taking a, not a risk here. It's more like I had this plan and my plan's working out and I'm glad and, um, you're learning as you go, learning new things as you go, maybe even meeting new people as you go. So let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Wands. You're very focused on yourself, money, your life, what you're building, um, fixing up your new place, spending some time, quality time to yourself alone. Um, that is good for you because you don't really trust a lot of people. Um, so I have the queen of pentacles, the seven of pentacles and the hermit that comes out as clarification for that queen of wands. And so, yeah, when it comes to your money and things like that, and just spending time at home, you enjoy that. You're really just embracing that, that seven of swords is like, I don't, you know, I don't really trust a lot of people, so I'd rather just stay at home and, and do my own thing. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the six of wands. All right, so this person gets very excited about hearing from you and like wanting your attention and the communication that comes in actually breaks their heart and they feel this loss and left out in the cold and isolated and almost like you didn't give them enough answers. They're just really in limbo. They feel just kind of like, what the heck just happened? Um, we have the two of wands, three of swords, and the five of pentacles that comes out as well as the hangman at the bottom of the deck. And they feel like everything was going well at first. And then, you know, this decision of to break up or whatever, or to leave the situation or whatever. Also, you know, everything going well. And then they've, they hear from you. It's something that breaks their heart. They feel like they don't get all the answers and they feel ghosted. And that's where you might not have uh, the right words to say to this person where that four of swords came out as like a break in the communication, not having exactly 
like what they want to hear or whatever, but you know, how you feel about it is how you're expressing it. So let's go ahead and clarify that seven of wands and you're doing the best that you can. They just feel like, well, I don't have the answers. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify. They don't want to give up um, so easy. And so when you go to move on, they, they're they showing up like finding the courage to come and see you, uh, face you because they're upset that you just left, that they don't know what's going on. They feel like you hid things from them, that you might have another relationship. I feel like they're also trying to catch you in another relationship um, because the lovers is at the bottom deck, but there's also like, I want to fight for this. Um, so we have the chariot, seven of, or the chariot, the five of swords and the moon coming out. And they might drive by your place at night to see if you're with somebody else because they feel like, you know, you played games with them because you started seeing somebody else. So if you're still at your, if, I mean, if y'all, if they know where you live or whatever, or you haven't moved away yet, they might do that. Just let you know, be careful. Um, there's also the fact that this person might show up out of the blue to surprise you because they want to make this relationship work and you are like, no way. It's not going to. Let's go ahead and clarify the devil. And it's because they feel heartbroken. They don't have answers. They feel they don't like that they got ghosted is how they feel. But it's not really ghosted if you did give them um, some kind of answer. Yeah. Um, All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Knight of Cups, and the Justice card. This person cannot seem to let you go. They don't want to close this chapter. Still in love with you, want to be with you, got to tell you, need to talk to you, and sending you messages still. So they're not letting go. This person's still trying to uh, pursue you. And it comes off that there's an obsession here to it. So let's go ahead and get the outcome between you and this person. Okay, so this person is trying to manifest you being back in their life, but it's not working and there's disappointment about it and you won't talk to them and it's probably for the best. Um, so we have the two of pentacles, the magician and the five of cups, as well as the four of swords at the bottom of the deck here. All right, so let's go ahead and get some messages for you. Uh, Sagittarius and you know you just you don't have the answer you're they're looking for and you gave them the answer the way that you could explain it um, and I mean it shows it's like they were excited but then you know not excited to hear what you had to say and that you were leaving and that you were letting go and they didn't understand why but you just told them you know how you felt and they they wanted more and you just don't have that answer they're looking for and that's okay so um the first message that comes out for you is going to be received with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love so you know even like if you haven't dealt with this situation yet but you're about to um just telling this person like i am very grateful for you but this is just a decision i'm making and i really need you to respect my boundaries um otherwise you know they might show up and if you've already gone through the situation, just prepare for them to show up, especially in the middle of the night, whenever you're not, when you don't know, because they're doing it in secret. And so that tells me it's like whenever you're not home, maybe when you're at work trying to see if there's somebody there. Um, I don't like that because it becomes an obsession. So, okay, slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold, especially in your new journey ahead. I love this for you. So uh, in your new journey ahead, receive and with love and appreciation, even um, 
acceptance is a way to show love, accepting things the way that they are, like that's okay, and moving forward, you know, I like how you're really spending some time to really connect with you, who you are all over again, and it's makes you happy. I love this. So this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.